Thank you. 
Then I greet the deputy and the mother, the wife. Can I greet uh, our, our field organizer and the wife? And our directors and the wives. Our superintendents and the wives. The pastors and the wives. The evangelists and the wives. Local preachers and the wives. The big fathers and the big mothers. The youth and the Sunday school. In the name of Jesus. I thank the Lord who has carried us. Amen. <laughs> who has carried us from Cape Town and brought us to Sidabili. From Cape Town to Sidabili is two days. It's very far. But because of your prayers, we had a wonderful journey until we arrived. We thank the church since we've arrived, it's going down. Or oh, it's telling. I don't know if there's anything left. On my own side, nothing is left. Even if our transport comes and says, let's go, we will depart today. The way the word of God was preached here, the way the word of God was taught here, it's like it was the first time. I don't know where to hold now. It's as though nothing is written in the Bible. <laughs> I thought we should just sing and just leave it. <laughs> and the way it was preached here, there's nothing that was left. In my heart, there is this saying. God didn't come on his own. He sent someone. And this person said, we are called. We came because of a person. We never came because of God himself. This person brought us. And I asked, what should be done here? And the person that brought me said, in this place we pray. This place we fast food. In this place we give. In this place we tithe. In this place we cleanse ourselves. You don't confess your faults after having done them. You confess what you are thinking about doing. And I also did as I was told. When it came to my heart, 
I should go and confess my faults. No Whether it's beautiful, no whether it's bad or ugly. But I must go and confess. And that's how I walked. Receiving the gospel, I was 20 years old. 20 years being born on this earth. And I received the gospel. And this gospel taught me that I must pray. And I prayed. The prayer changed my life. It changed my life. My life changed. When I got home and told them that I am born again, they were shocked. Those days knew me. They said it would have been better if it was somebody else and not you. Young ladies came to ask for sweets because the young man was coming from work. Girls used to come and ask for sweets. You, you needed to lay them down. Or I laid them down and I showed them the Bible. And I, I said, don't you know what sweets are? The sweets are this Bible. And they left. Young men came. Well, the, the young men came to ask for a bottle of wine or brandy. <laughs> for cigarettes and I showed them the Bible and I asked them don't you know this word what you're looking for is in the Bible the next morning old men came from home they came to ask for what belonged to them and I showed them the Bible and they said, you are sick, young man. <laughs> and I showed them the Bible. <laughs> Days passed. <laughs> and those that were born with me came. Young men. They came to confess. And said, our brother, people are laughing at us. <laughs> they say there's a sickness that you have. <laughs> and I asked, what sickness do I have? <laughs> they said, you don't want ladies. You don't walk with guys. You're always carrying your Bible. And my brother said, <laughs> this we used to speak next to the, the cow crowd. And the person I received said, Go next to the garden to spill water. I stood up, I went next to the garden, and this person spoke and said, chase them away, turn back and chase them away. And I went to them and said, brothers, and they looked at them and I said, from now on, that's the age and they said, yes, we know you. We are called, we are for the first time. Because you are saying you are a believer, we see that you have now a very bad characteristic. And I kept quiet. 
And I continued. All the ladies. I left all the ladies on the road. I didn't have even one. I, oh, I released all of them. I released all the ladies and I felt that they were released. I left them. And they said, how will you leave without a girlfriend? Have you seen Somebody who has no wife separated from girlfriend or ladies. Oh. And I prayed. <coughs> when I was sleeping at night. <laughs> and I would sleep sleeping with the lady. And I would woke up and all my, my, my feet it would be wet. <laughs> or my thigh would be wet. And I will go up and go and confess my fault to my pastor. And I will fast. And time will go past. And I will not dream a lady, but my time will be went again. I wouldn't dream any lady. And I will go again to confess my fault. And, and my pastor would say, it is showing that all your immune system or your body is active and working. And I went back to fasting. And it all finished. I never dreamt any girl. And all of these last two were cut off. And I said, marriage is a devil's thing. <laughs> I didn't see the lead. I never saw the lead. For a girl, for a lady, all my body. I was a believer. I didn't have, I didn't feel lonely. Or dizzy. I didn't feel dizzy. Or oh, I, I was not ashamed. I was a believer. I was a believer. I was a believer. I didn't fall and then wake up again. <laughs> I was a believer. I was a believer that was separated from sin. And I said, a person who is married has fallen. And I said, oh, the sick one is not confessed. The one who has died, the devil overcame them. <laughs> I lived. I lived. I lived. And on another day, a young man gave himself. He was working in Port Elizabeth. He gave me his wife and kids. He said, Brethren, take my wife. Here are my kids. Let them worship with you. And I worship with them. I worship with them. And the man got hurt at work. And he died. He died. And I had to be the one to go and bury him. And the people from church asked who will bury him. And they said he will be buried by a Christian. And they asked who have you buried before? Are and there was a fight. Oh, I went there. And I did the burial. I, I, oh, I never threw sand into. And people cried behind me, saying, mm. And I said, close the hole. 
Pas de And we went home. I didn't wash my hands when I entered the gate. He would say, mm, 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 my gate. Oh, we are going to the gate. 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 I said, he took everything, you will also die. I did this alone, I had no wife. People called me a dog. They answered you to verify a dog. They said, a, 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 an honorable man like this is buried by this thing. There is salvation. But this thing, I see your uniform. It's not a uniform. It's refusing. It's refusing. There are people that receive Jesus, but they don't reach Him. They just end amongst the Christians. But there are those that receive Jesus. They are fortunate to reach Him. They speak to Him and He speaks to them. There are people that receive Jesus. But even one day, He never speaks to them. And they don't say anything to Him. <laughs> Hallelujah. This thing is confusing. It's confusing. There, there is that sorrowfulness. That's this young man, he sees a lady. You have to call this young lady and say she must pray. There's a young man who wants to build a home with you. <laughs> you can see that there is, there, is, there is nothing going on here with this young lady. You are showing a hand to a God that she has never even known. You see this church from home? I you my it's not asking any person to preach for it. It is said, go and witness and testify wherever the Holy Spirit is sent. Go and testify. And nothing happens. And you come back. And say nothing is happening. You are asking for prayers. You are being prayed for and you are sent again. And nothing happens again. And you come back again. When, when you go the third time, you are in doubt. You can see that you are in doubt. And something happens. And me as the pastor, I must put a committee. Uh, the secretary, uh, uh, the usher, uh, uh, the treasurer, who will look after you so that you don't eat this man. A local preacher does not have money. The Christian doesn't have money. The money belongs to the pastor. His only word is to preach and bring money. <laughs> This is how our church is or how my church is. You, you, you are 
you're saying it, you're getting or running out of work. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is leading you there. You are lying. There's no Holy Spirit that you have encountered. You are hungry. You are sent by your hunger. You are lying. I have been given money by my pastor and I'm walking with my pastor and my, my cousin took out 100 rand and gave me at this and I put it in my pocket and we, we were at the side of uh, Mr. Machunza uh, Mr. Machunza was still very young, he was still small and when they prepare for us, and we put in a service, and my pastor said I must preach and I preach, and we give, were given a place to see. My pastor never slept. He sat on top of the bed. <laughs> He sat on top of the bed. <laughs> oh, he, he never took off. I, I took off my clothes, but he never took off his clothes. Sonia. And he said, Sonia. <laughs> and I said, Father. <laughs> he said, This is true. <laughs> are you preaching it or are you doing it? <laughs> and I said, hold up. <laughs> and I said, I do both of them. I preach and I do. <laughs> and he said, where is that money that was given to you? Brethren, there is a painful thing. 
what were we are That when you are called, when and you feel that you are called. I will feel this. There's no problem. I I I I I I And you arrive at the person that is calling you. Oh, no, no, no. And that person doesn't speak to you. He doesn't speak to you. That's why it's painful. That's why it's painful. They say you are called. And you go. The person that is said is calling you. He doesn't speak to you. What's painful even to ladies or women? It says that she must pray. And she must ask God if this is the right man for her. But no, she doesn't hear any word from God. And the girl is not known by God. And God doesn't know this yet. And it says she must ask God. The God that she doesn't know. Who is not known also by this God. Her faith is only ending at the person who preached to her. It doesn't reach God. It doesn't reach God. It doesn't reach God. There is a faith that uh, she has only the faith of the person who was sent to call her. When that person backslides, she also backslides. When the person leaves the church, she also leaves the church. When the person is being tempted, she is also tempted. <laughs> The person who was sent to preach to her becomes a God. She doesn't know the real God. Hallelujah. <laughs> There becomes a hardness. And you can see that your faith is a difficult faith. Your faith is, doesn't reach the God who was said has called you. I don't know which kind of life you can live, either a life of a cow or that of a sheep. There's nothing that speaks to you. Whatever is being done, you do. When they don't do, you also do not do. And you also don't know. Even though they are playing with you, you don't know. You just don't know anything.
confess someone, the book of first Samuel.
Dar niciodată nu puteți să fac cuvinte cu mine să ați. Oh, I was looking for ladies from those cultures, the Soviets and the Mongols and Poles. I didn't know that I'd get married to a Tosa. I never thought I would marry a Tosa. I was looking for women from those sides or those cultures. That is for my own. What do I want? What do I have? And God says, this is the one. Why are fire of chandas? 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 We pray that the person... And I forgot to even ask where she's coming from, what has sent him to me. And when I told my mother... And my mother asked, wait, what's the saying? And I said, I forgot. I, I didn't want marriage uh, in the beginning or in the first place. I, I, you should go back to confess your fault. I wish you go back to pray. Let there be something that puts your make you one with God. Let there be something that makes you make you meet with God. Let God speak to you and you speak to Him. Let the people speak to you. What is this? Let there be things that speak to you. Let things speak to you. Let there be things that you also speak to God. God has left me. God has left me. You will walk a long distance without God. You, you think you have God and, that, and yet you have no God. You've separated from Him. You think you have God and yet you have no God. God has left you. Even prophets don't, don't speak to you. Even when you are even when they are sleeping, you don't have the right dream. And say, wake up, brethren, you are crying. We are dreaming, crying, and yet you are believing. Because you have no God. <laughs> You don't have God. <laughs> I love this saying from uh, our own hometown. <laughs> they leave you when you have to, <laughs> to testify and you speak against everything. <laughs> and you say you don't have any business with doctors. <laughs> I 
And they are still calling themselves Christians. Oh. It's all a, a game. You are playing. You are not doing God's will. You don't listen to God's will. You are not doing God's we need to do things with power. Even if we may be crying, but we must do it with strength and power. We are doing it for God and not ourselves. God has done this to you. People will die because of you. People will die because of you. Because you don't have no. You begin problems. You, 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 you accept everything because you think if you say no, the second will have problems or challenges. You are accepting things that are right and accepting things that are wrong. So because you are doing that your money or your offering doesn't go down. But people will die because of you. Tomorrow you will die with your sons. There's something that was done by the late moderator in Arnold. In Arnold. We had given for Dorcas and he stood up and he said, I'm forgetting something. I forgot my dog at home, Pastor. Can you accompany me to the dog? And we gave a lot of money for the late moderator's dog. And I said, I will never not give for my child dogs. Take out for your child even though she's not a believer. We took out for moderator's dog. Was it a believer? We took out dogs for moderator's dog. What is better, moderator's dog or your child? You say that you take out once they believe. When will they believe? Take out time for them now even, now, even though they don't believe. I don't want this thing. When we are in church, I see a believer come to take an envelope and write and put the envelope down. Take the envelope and leave with it. Take the money and put it there next to your envelope and speak. And say, God, with this offer, I am saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. After you have spoken, put it in the envelope and take it to church. Don't just take the envelope and write and throw it in the offering basket and have not said any word. All the church you are leading soul, they will all die. 
It will be up because of you. The big man fell to the ground. He was afraid to stop someone's words. All his strength. He ran out of strength. I see a Christian running to a Sangoma in the dark hours of the night. I'm Today you are singing a Christian song and tomorrow you are singing with Sangomas. You might even go and become a disciple of a Sangoma. This Sangoma became a pastor to Saul. Saul was being taught by this Sangoma. A woman who had no man, a loose lady. And so was a pastor, and yet he was taught by a son Having no God. He, he was hearing words from a son bomb and not God's word. He was getting strength from a son bomb because God had departed with his own strength. Yeah. Yeah. When you are a Christian, you will not eat things that some bombers give you. Saul was saying that he's a Christian, he will not eat some bombers' food. He was making himself better. <laughs> a Christian who looks like him. And some woman said, eat. There's no Christian that looks like you. She didn't even have a man. She had no husband. She said to Saul, a Christian, eat. Saul pretended as though he was not hungry. I'm a Christian. And some woman said, eat. Because we're going to Christmas now. People will be inviting us. People will be calling you to their events. They are going to thank some bombers who kept them for the whole year. Some Christians will be going there. Uh, there is no time in the evening speaking to ancestors 
And during the day they will invite Christians to come and eat or fish. I, I, I like these people because they are smart. They make us eat their things. Yes. This was a loose lady. And she tried it. Eat, eat, so eat. is <laughs> love. <laughs> he was made to sit on the floor. <laughs> Christian will go to a Sangoma and sit on the floor. We don't sit on the floor, we sit on chairs. Because you have little drink, you will get what you are looking for. You will still find what you are looking for. This was a, a wealthy lady.